Thanks for stopping by to check out this MyCost Professional tutorial. This will be a getting started tutorial starting with the actual download. Uh, you can fast forward or skip to the next one if this is too basic for you. But once you've purchased or got the free trial, you'll get an email almost right away. If you don't see it, check your spam filter. And if you can, help us out by clicking this is not spam. It'll prevent other people from having the same issue. Um, go to mycostpro.com once you have that download code and click on the download tab and you can scroll down to the bottom where it says download code and eBay user ID. I'm going to put in some fake information here. Um, you would make sure that when you put in your user ID that this is your selling account user ID. So if you have more than one account such as one for buying and one for selling, this is the one that you want the program to link to on eBay to download your sales. Alright, so I'm going to pause here and put in some real information. Once I do that, you'll get this pop-up. Um, this may be a Firefox pop-up. It may look different on Internet Explorer or Chrome. But if you get this pop-up, you want to select Save File, not Open File. So go ahead and save it. And once you've got that downloaded, you're going to want to save it to a proper location on your hard drive. You can save it to your desktop. and reopen it. You can see that now it's attempting to connect to the server and asking for the download key. You're only going to need to put this in the one time and then it'll save it to the spreadsheet. So you want to go ahead and put that in here. I'll put in a fake one for now and um, pause the video again until I put the real one in. And if you want to paste it from your clipboard the right click option to paste here won't work but you can use control V to paste in whatever's on your clipboard and actually if you open this and it's already in your clipboard it'll be pre-populated for you alright so once you get the download key and put in the first time uh, we're gonna see that you don't have a token set up yet the token is what lets you connect your eBay selling account to your MacOS Pro account if you read this it just says this is a one-time process it'll last about a year and a half what it's going to do is redirect you to directly to the eBay website and you're going to log in here and make sure it's your selling account that you want linked not your buying account so put in your correct selling account information and password and I'm going to pause here and put in a real account and I'll be right back with you and I clicked sign in and here's where it's saying grant application access my cost pro uh, you ready to use my cost pro great blah 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 you can read all that you can click agree and it says thank you authorization successfully completed it is now safe to close the browser so once you close the browser click get started okay let's just go ahead and jump right into it and we'll click on the sold item list and up here at the top you see download sales from eBay we're gonna click that the first time it connects, it's going to go get all 90 days of data as far back as it can get. So it's going to take the longest. Once you run it and you're going to run it again, it's only going to check from the time that you ran it the last time and in the future. So you can see this is done. I have 31 sold items in the last 90 days. Um, I'm going to pause this real quick and hide my customer information. I actually don't need to pause it. I can click on the uh, column bookmark tabs and it'll hide and show that whole group if you click the click layout assist button to on if you click that off then it doesn't do anything the other thing you can do here is put any of these columns into bookmark view by clicking on the header so make it take up less space so you can see over to the far right if you want and this double triangle will show and hide hidden columns with this H here so if there's a column you want to show, you can delete the H or add an H if you want to hide one and click the double triangle again. Anyway, just toggle that off and it won't affect anything. So you have your sales here. Um, you have your quantity sold, your date that it sold, uh, the listing details, the item number, the final value fees, um, PayPal fees, the shipping prices that you charge, the actual price that you charged um, and then in this customer information that's hidden right now you have your user ID the email address of the user um, 
up to 14 days in the past, eBay will only allow us to get that data for 14 days. But once you download it, it'll stay on the sheet. So as long as you run this every two weeks, you'll get everyone's email address as well. And then KPI over here, we have the profit that's calculated based on the item purchase price and the sale price and the fees. So for example, if you want to manually fill in an item purchase price um, for these golf balls here that cost, let's say, $2 um, with no postage and, or anything like that, we had $2.30 final value fee, $0.97 cents PayPal fee, um, and then sold it for $23, and we can see that it is $17.73. Uh, profit with a return on investment of 886 percent. In some of the upcoming tutorials I can show you some of the more advanced features such as how to have it pre-populate your item purchase price and your, the postage that you're paying um, so that you don't have to fill it in manually. Uh, that's mostly for if you sell the same item over and over but it can also apply to items that you have listed that um, may take a while to sell after you purchase and a couple other scenarios. So let's show you the active item list before we leave this tutorial. Um, you can get it, you can get to it from the quick menu up here, or you can go back to the home and go to active item list there. And we're going to check for active items on eBay. And you can see I have four active items currently. Um, it has the uh, quantity that are listed, the current price, um, when the auction started how much I'm charging for shipping, the description, and this kind of stuff. And I'm going to show you one, one thing real quick. Um, you can edit the quantities that you have available. Um, you see here I have two quantities available. You can edit the price or the quantity um, in bulk, actually. I'll show you more of this on, on the next tutorial. But all you would do is put in the new quantity that you want to show, and then you put an X here. And this is just to confirm to make sure that you're wanting to change the live listing uh, just to make sure you don't make any mistakes but you're going to click the modify live eBay listings look over it make sure it's correct um, it's going to ask you to click OK one more time and you click that and it says it's successful so we're going to refresh it and see that the quantity has changed on the home screen here the last thing I'll show you the dashboard you can see here the summaries for your key performance indicators. Uh, you can change the key performance indicator that you want to check, and you can ch uh, change the time frame on any of these. And then quickly, the reports. You can see we have three different profit and loss report breakdowns by month, quarter, and year. Um, and then you have your performance tracking reports for the year broken down by month and for any single month broken down by day and you can um, change the months on the fly here and that's it for right now um, I encourage you to check out our forum uh, you can go there if you have any trouble you can talk to the other users it's pretty new right now so I would appreciate it if you go there and get a lot of activity going maybe we can have a discussion about some of the features or something or you can email us if you have any trouble at this uh, support at mycostpro.com and I'll try and reply right away. So thanks for checking this out and I'll talk to you later. Bye.